Hello, wonderful singers, and welcome to your Covo Vocal Exercise of the Week. I'm Dr. Julia Nielsen, the founder of Covo, which is short for Community Vocalizing, where our mission is to advance singers' vocal health, fitness, and longevity by providing creative vocal exercise routines. And here at Covo, we are about to complete Consonants Month. This month, every single exercise we have included in our general vocal workouts has included consonants. Now, I'm a little odd in that I think about consonants almost like they're people. Every person has their own personality, strengths, weaknesses, idiosyncrasies, quirks. We're naturally drawn to some people and with other people, we have to work a little harder to make friends. Consonants are like this. Some of them are naturally singer friendly and others are a little more prickly, a little more tricky. And which are which is different for different singers depending on the singer's technical strengths and their challenges. This month, we have also been learning to slice and dice consonants in different ways to categorize them based on things like airflow, voicing, place and manner of articulation. For example, does the air continue to flow during the consonant or does it need to stop to stop for an instant? That's continuance versus plosives. Does the vocal tone continue or does it stop during the consonant? That's voiced consonants versus unvoiced consonants. But one of the other things that can make a consonant a best friend or a mortal enemy is where the tongue needs to be to pronounce the consonant. Does the tongue have to contract somewhere unhelpful? Like on the American R, er, er. Does it have to move to somewhere tricky, like up to the soft palate on mm, on the NG? Well, if you want a friendly consonant that does a nice thing for the tongue, look no further than the voiced th, the voiced TH. Now, if you are an aficionado of the international phonetic alphabet, you may know that this sound th, has an interesting symbol, th, as does its unvoiced sibling. Mm -hmm. During this consonant, the tongue must protrude slightly past the front teeth which is why it is called an interdental consonant, meaning between the teeth. Now, for a tongue root that has a tendency to tense and pull back and down or up during singing, can be great medicine, which brings us to our vocal exercise of the week, TH tongue release, the tongue release. In this exercise, we will prolong a voiced TH sound and alternate it with an A vowel. As you may or may not know, the A vowel is notorious for causing singers to tense and depress and do weird things with their tongues Ah, ah. Uh, making it sound like the ah is quote unquote falling back. Well, a nice v can be just the thing to bring the tongue and therefore the vowel sound forward again. So for the notes of a minor triad, we will alternate a quarter notes worth of v and a quarter notes worth of ah like this. we will end 
ends the exercise with a quicker five tone minor scale where the ascending part of the scale will be sung on sustained th and the descending part on the ah vowel. Now when we get to the final note, it's your choice whether you'd like to continue on the ah or return to th to make sure that your tongue doesn't retract and gag you on your offset. Let's try the whole exercise once together. How did that feel? Does the TH tickle your lips or your nose? That probably means you're doing it right. Let's try another. go on, make sure that your tongue on the TH sound feels soft and wide, not pointy or aggressively active. And there should be little to no movement in the jaw. TH is a tongue consonant after all. We don't want to feel biting or chewing the, the, as we alternate between the vowel and the consonant. this exercise in the coming week and I encourage you to toss an interdental consonant or two into your other vocal exercises. You might just find a nice new tongue release. If you enjoyed this consonant exercise, we've got more for you. During September, all of our general 30-minute vocal workouts will be devoted to the study of consonants in singing. If you're not already joining these twice weekly general vocal workouts live, we would love to have you. These sessions are absolutely free. We meet on Zoom every Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Pacific time and instructions on how to request our free Zoom link are in the description below. If you would like the next vocal exercise of the week to show up in your email inbox, you can find out how in the description below. And finally, singers, remember, regular vocal exercise is the key to your vocal health, fitness, and longevity. Every time you show up at Covo, you are going to get a creative vocal workout, expert coaching, and a community of friends to practice with. We'll see you there.